Hi everyone, this is Arvin, and today we are going to calculate again same duration and modified duration, but this time we are going to uh, automate this by using a user defined function. So in our previous video, we calculated duration and modified duration by using multiple uh, line of code. However, in this video, I'm going to automate a calculation through function. So let's do it. First, I'm going to download library. Run this. In order to calculate duration and modify duration, we need rate. We need coupon rate, frequency. That's the payment frequency. Uh, which is semi-annual, annual, quarterly, monthly, whatever it is. We also want face value, settlement date, and maturity date as well. First, I'm going to define a data frame, which will be PD dot data frame. I'm also going to divide rate by 100, coupon rate is equal to Coupon rate divided by 100 as well. So I'm going to define N as a time period, which will be equal to PD dot two underscore numeric because we are going to convert it into a number. And we are going to say PD dot two date time, maturity date minus PD dot two, uh, two date time, sorry settlement date i'm going to divide it by 365 so it will be converted in years divided by 365 dot days okay and we are going to calculate total payment which will be n into frequency so we will get the total number of payment here and then we got coupon payment which will be equal to coupon rate divided by frequency into face value so we will get our coupon payment so the payment will be equal to coupon payment so everything will remain same what i have done in my previous video the only difference compared to previous video and this video is this function. So it's gonna be T minus one plus the same part, this face value. So we will get the last coupon along with principal. Now data, I'm going to say period, which will be equal to PD dot data frame and P dot A range one comma total payment so we will get the total number of payment here plus one so the reason to add plus one here is for example if we are getting a total payment of six what python will do python will take from one to five it will skip the last value which is six in this case so in order to get the six payment what I have done, I have added plus one here. So if we want to generate an exact payment series based on this uh, and into frequencies, so let's say if n is three and frequency is two, means three years and a semi-annual payment of coupon. So altogether it's gonna be six. If I'm going to put six here, which is total payment, it will just give us a series of one to five. I can show it to you in a while. Data payment, pd dot data frame. We already got the payment here. Now I want to discount the coupon payment. So it's D coupon, which is discounted coupon, which will be equal to data payment divided by one plus rate which is the yield divided by frequency raised to power data period so data present value 
data of coupon, discounted coupon divided by frequency into data period divided by the coupon dot sum. Now duration is equal to data PV, which is the present value dot sum and M duration will be equal to duration divided by one plus rate divided by frequency. I want to return duration comma modified duration. Let's run this. All right. So I'm going to use the same data which I have used in my previous video. So in that video, the rate was 6%, coupon rate was 10%. So you can find the link of my previous video in the description below. So it will be more clear and easy to understand what I have done in my previous video and what are the differences we have in this 100. Okay, so I need to put frequency here too, and then face value 100, which I have already put it there. Settlement date, let's say first, first, 2020 comma maturity date 10 10 2025 let's run this perfect so this is something i was expecting now the main reason here is let me also make this consistent and then let's see if it works or not perfect it's not working and the main reason this day i'm going to change the settlement date and in order to change settlement date i'm going to put try and accept which is let's say settlement date is equal to pd dot two date time settlement date comma format is equal to percentage d slash percentage m which is month slash percentage y so what will happen here if the user or the person who is putting date in this format, which is date, what I have done here, slash month and capital Y is basically the full year with century. In this case, it's gonna be also, we need to do the same thing for maturity date. So this is for settlement date and this is for maturity date so for maturity date i'm going to do the same thing start off settlement i'm going to put maturity here thing all right total payment and then let's run this again all right perfect should be three years then let's run this 2.68 2.60 that's perfect if you go to my previous video and check the duration and modified duration you will find a similar number what we have calculated here okay i'm also going to return data here so it will be more clear so here you can see a series of six payment now if i'm going to remove this one let's see what will happen we will just have a five payment and there is no principal amount so we are just getting the coupon whereas the last payment which is coupon plus principal will be excluded that's the main reason for us to add plus one after this total payment within the range hope it's clear we can also change the format so let's say instead of slash we are going to put hyphen so let's run this and see Perfect. So the reason to put try and accept here is because if user is going to put a date in a different format, Python will accept it. So first Python will try this line of code and see whether it is in the right format or not. If not, Python will come in this line of code and see, okay, the provided date in the exact format, what is exactly mentioned here. So that was the reason to put try and accept here. Hope it's helpful for you. So that's all for today. Hope you liked the video. And if you are new to my channel, please, I would really appreciate if you subscribe my channel and hit the like button. Thank you.